to um, my husband and I co-founding Hannah's Hope Fund. I was a stay-at-home mom for a few years. Um, I retired to be a stay-at-home mom just prior to the birth of my second daughter, Reagan, back in 2001. And Hannah was born um, March 5th, 2004. So, you know, I helped out with my husband's small businesses until this hit us, but um, it's pretty much been 24-7 since we received Hannah's diagnosis. So, uh, giant external neuropathy is an inherited neuropathy, and the vast majority of the kids have kinky, kinky, curly hair, unlike either parent. Hannah has the worst type of mutation to have. Um, she has a homozygous deletion, so each copy of her GAN gene is missing the end of the gene. So we're delivering a full-length therapeutic gene. So they've predicted that Hannah will likely launch an immune response to the therapeutic gene. So um, now we kind of have to solve the uh, immune tolerance or immunosuppression issue and really um, we're working with leaders to de design a protocol before Hannah can get treated but we're going to start the trial as soon as we can with the GAN patients who are not predicted to launch an immune response against the therapeutic gene. This diagnosis for our youngest child has really uh, it has changed everything. I mean we just look at life differently um, we really carve out time to build memories um, and really cherish today because we have no idea what tomorrow brings for Hannah. We've been able to do this because we've been able to raise the funds grassroots. GAN is very rare, so pharmaceutical companies and biotechnology companies aren't interested in spending huge funds to develop therapies for such an ultra rare disorder. So really, if it weren't for Hannah's Hope Fund and the community helping us do this, there likely wouldn't be a treatment for GAN for another 60 years. We have videos on our website and a great deal of information on our website. It's hannashopefund.org. Um, please visit our website if you're looking for your charity of choice. Please make a donation. It's completely through grassroots efforts that we've come this far and we still need help.